Welcome back, everybody. It's Kree Rama from Junk Journal Divas. Hello, my friends. I want to show you something that I received in the mail today from my guru, who is Karen Bradley. I call her my guru because she's always teaching me something new. So let me get started showing you all the goodies that were in this package. I'm going to save the journal for last year. I just want to show these little things she here. She had showed me this card that she did and I loved it so much. And I said, I think I need that one. <laughs> I just love it so much. I love the same. I mean, I love everything about it. It's so cool, right? So she sent me this and some of her jelly prints to play with. Maybe we might go live in Junk Journal Divas and do some jelly prints together. Ooh, this paper too. What is this paper? It has, it's, is that like a rice paper? Look at that one. That's just fabulous. I love it, I love it, I love it. So fun. Ooh, look at that. Well, obviously, guys, I didn't look through all these. I was so excited about, oh, this one's double-sided, or is it? Yep. I was so excited about the journal and then the tissue paper that it was wrapped in. How cool is that? So I just saved this. And this was used it's kind of like a washi tape so they peel right up here but i thought those were really cool too and then you ready for this ah, i saw this she had posted in group and i said oh my goodness i i love the the saying first of all creative people don't have a mess they have ideas laying around everywhere and I said, oh my goodness, this kind of looks like me. I think I might need her too. <laughs> but look at the details on here. This is just so cool. Like this, I would never think to do this. She just gives me so much inspiration. So I love my diva sisters so much. This is just amazing. And the other thing is I'm horrible at watercolors. So I love this stuff that she does even just so much more because I can't do it, but I'm just amazed. So I think I'm going to find um, a frame for this, but I don't want the glass in it. I want it to be more like um, open because, you know, I want all the texture stuff to show. So I got this. And the other thing is I thought in the picture, I thought this was really small, like a four by six or something. I had no idea. Just, I just love it so much. And I also have other paintings from her. I have a whole wall of Karen Bradley artwork. So this little journal, let's open her up here. So Karen loves the you know the older ladies and every every time she posts tags or whatever I just I love them so much and she comes up with the greatest sayings so I mean let's talk about the inspiration in this like first of all all the textured pieces and I love I always send Karen my papers because I love playing with my papers and it's just it like just makes my heart explode when I see my papers in her work and see how she uses them. I just, it's so fun for me. So Karen, I don't know if I sent this to you because I used to get this stuff with my essential oils that were in the mail. So you may have had this on your own or I may have sent you this piece, but and then we have this ribbed texture on the front. With age comes wisdom and little dangles hanging out here. Open her up. So here we have Mischief Managed. 
and the little cluster. This layering is always the thing that I love to see what she does. She's so great at layering just random pieces and it always looks so great. And then pull out this little mini tag and she has it back with some cotton linen fabric. And I know this one is from the Art House Whimsy Digitals because she put together some old lady digitals for us. And that's what I made my domino book using her digitals. Jelly papers here. Okay, and then we open this up. Altered paper clip that is on this little piece here with a little dangle. And then this lady <laughs> says, grow your own dope. <laughs> Oh my goodness, just cracks me up. And then we've got this pocket, glassine pocket here. And then this says, plant a man. Let's look at the gut coming out of the... <laughs> oh my goodness. And then the back of it. And this I know is a piece of my fabric that I had sent in something, I think tied around something. Then we have this lady over here. And here says, art is the only way to run away without leaving home. And you guys, this page, so it's a pocket, but this feels like maybe, I don't know, it feels really thick and I love how she put the gold around it. We've got the button and some fabric here and a feather. So then we pull this tag out. And this lady forever young. So if you guys are kind of new or new-ish at junk journals and things, you see here like this is one of my favorite things to do is to make master boards and then just cut pieces out to make tags on of any size it's just a great way to get that layered look is already there and if you want you can go over it with some gesso now this is something I have seen people do and Karen does it a lot is you know with the string and the holes this is I've never done it so like I said, just so much inspiration in this, in this book. And I love all the long threads hanging everywhere. And even the lopsided page. You can see it's not totally straight here. She made it kind of lopsided so things are sticking out different areas. And then this one says, beauty doesn't have an expiration date. Some of the fabric I put, she loves green, so I always send her green things. This page, how pretty is this? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And of course, she painted here some of her jelly prints. Whoops, my card fell out. And I even love this little piece here. Now, I probably would have cut that off. And it's like, duh, keep that on there and let it hang out. And then over here, we've got our layers. And then on this page, this is definitely, this is my eco dyed paper. Learn the rules like a pro so you can break them like an artist. And then this is cool too with all of her string and Okay, blues and greens together. I always love blues and greens together. Now these feel like this is, these feel like they are made out of a dryer sheet or something. <laughs> I don't know if you can see them. Youth is a gift of nature, but age is a work of art. That's a great one. Look at this picture. Oh, I just love the little old ladies. And then the tag inside here. Tucks down in there. And some little stitching here. The 
This is fabulous. I hope there's a pinata <laughs> in all of her little pieces here layered up. Side. I want to write like I've got my party hat on. Her hat, it looks like balls of yarn or something. That's a hat. <laughs> yes, and then we have this lady. And here, I'm crazy about my coffee. My blood type is coffee. Yes, that is me. She used the black paper with the, the gold on it. And then this one, how sweet is this image? So sweet. We prefer Coven, but Book, book Club is fine too. <laughs> and then here, tucked in here, this is what, what fell out, because this is heavy here. How fantastic. I mean, first of all, I love this image, but and is this not hysterical? Keep talking, I'm diagnosing you. <laughs> and then I love the charms here. And this is tucked in here and that's what, when I was picking it up, it fell out the back here. So that is my little book, isn't it fantastic? I just could not wait to show this little beauty just bursting with inspiration and then tied up with this little bow. So I'm gonna add this to my Karen Bradley collection that is growing on my wall. Thank you so much for joining me and Karen, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I love this as I love everything that you make. Thank you for this wonderful surprise and all of your teaching and helping me along the way on this journey. Mwah.